Hey everyone, welcome back to our 42 days in each region challenge. We're starting episode 11 here in the Riken. Uh, we're back after some technical issues with the game and my laptop. We're back. I haven't forgotten about it. Uh, kind of getting right back into it. It's been a few weeks. Um, been, definitely been a few weeks since we last upped on. Uh, gotta get a refresher of what our inventory is looking like. Okay. Alright. A good scene on our clothing. Very good scene. Didn't really want to go back in, but we can. I just want to go around and take a look at what we kind of did last episode. Uh, looks like that's in the process of curing. Ah, yes. There we on. A29, guys, out of 42. So we got, if my calculations are correct, we have 13 more days in Desolation Point. So it's going to start coming down to it. Uh, going to want to start transporting stuff, I think. Um, you know, thinking about at least what we want to take with us out of Desolation Point. Likely only bear hides, I think, out of all the hides we have. Kind of what I'm thinking, but... I uh, can't forget that. Making us heavy. So it's really the point in um, the region where you kind of are just chilling out. You know? Uh, I believe... What's our skills like? Yeah, so we're on the way to cooking five. Fire starting. That usually takes a while. No ice fishing huts in Desolation Point. Ending, that'll never get to five, so best to accept that now. <laughs> uh, and then I remember we were messing around with spray paint one of those episodes, too. So. All right, cool. So just take a quick look. Nothing's really going on there. Uh, I do... I did want to maybe do some... Ah, uh, well some crafting at Hibernia, but I'm not sure what I would like to craft. You've got the gloves. You've got the hat. You know, it's like... What more do you want besides, you know... This. Gotta wait for that, but that's curing. Let's see, 30% cured. 12 days. I think it'll be done by... At least day 40. So we might even have to be taking both the bear hides out of here. That's okay though. I don't mind. Do oh, I have this on me? Uh, we'll drop that somewhere outside, but... Yeah, let's go up top. But I do have to apologize for... The lack of... Videos. I have been busy with college. Uh, had a few laptop problems, so... I waited just a little bit until they kind of sorted themselves out because this, this has happened before. But it sorted itself out and now I'm here. So glad to get back into the long dark. It's been a few weeks and I've had a craving for it. So um, good time to come back right back into the run. So, okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, still are nicely placed to water. Okay. That in there. Don't even need it. No, yeah, so we're really just sitting around and waiting for uh, waiting for the 42 day mark. You know, it's that point in the run. It just starts to get a little boring. I encountered this on my other little test run I did of this a few months ago. It's kind of sitting around twiddling your thumbs, but it's okay. Uh, let's go just to do something. We'll go take a look at the at the rabbits, see what's happening over there. I can't assume much, but never know. The beach come over there as well, just to see what's just to see what the ocean gods have delivered for us. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we're fine. Uh, 
Should be careful of a bear too. I always love darting out here without checking what's going on. But I hope uh hope your day has been well. Hope your week has been well. It's already October. You know, it's the years go by really fast, you know. So trying to take it a day at a time. But what can you do? Uh, they're gonna be deer over here to scare me. I don't know. See, now I have to relearn the controls because it's been like a week. Okay. Archery would be a cool thing to kind of get our skill up in. Be pretty good. Because eventually, you know, in regions like, well, I was gonna say Hutch River Valley, but by then, hopefully, we would have a solid food um, or bullet source. Rather, we'd have a solid stack but you know in regions where we don't have any bullet crafting you know like ash canyon for example uh those arrows are gonna come in very handy won't have the luxury of burning through our bullets so that's uh gonna have to be something we think about in here no Neptune, the god of the sea, has not given us anything. Oh well. Wolves seem kind of close. But I think they're uh, over in that direction. Doesn't seem too close from here, but... Alright, let's head back. Not that taking damage is really a concern of mine right now, but... Don't want to take it if I can at least avoid it. Bear not back in town yet, eh? I don't know how long it's been. I honestly forget. But, you know, considering that pelt's at 30%, probably only been a week at most since we've killed the bear. So, he won't be back anytime soon. He honestly probably won't be back until we leave. Maybe like a day or two before we leave. That's kind of my call right now. So, no real worry. Reason to uh, worry. Okay. Parasites? Correct, we do. So, we did a check of this an episode or two ago of, a lot of small pieces. So, I'll just take one. Alright. So, yeah, one thing I do want to um do is kind of separate into that bin kind of what i'm taking I'm back with us to coastal highway so i think you know all the arrow crafting materials are definitely going to come with us i really want to these two also probably make into arrowheads but we can decide later but i really do want to make these into arrows either in coastal highway or in um, Pleasant Valley, in the farmstead. Because um, I know in the basement there, there's a workbench. So I wouldn't mind doing my work in there. Uh, we're j I'm just kind of going on the the, uh, the assumption that I'm going to run to more ammo in Coastal Highway. Because we will be looting the entire region out. And you cannot tell me there's at least going to be 10 rounds of each, uh, of each gun in that region. Uh, so, you know. I'm going to kind of bank on that. Even though there's one thing this game has told me, it's not to rely on things in other regions. But I do it anyway, because it's fun, right? So, we'll do that. Uh, hacksaw. Which one's better? Yeah, we'll put the, uh, we'll put the 84, 85% we'll put in here. Definitely want to take the hacksaw, for sure. I'm tired, you know... Not a huge gunpowder gun user. Same with flares. I'm not really a big user of them. So, I think I'm going to just kind of leave them. But, we'll see. Something could change my mind within the next 13 days that makes me want them. But, as of now, just extra weight. Um, You know, guts. Right? Do we want to take guts? I have the room for it. At least the space for now. Um, for it. So uh, I think I'm just gonna light the bullet and take it. 
how or not. Yeah, the casings are definitely coming with us. Ski gloves will leave. Pick one of those, yeah. Pure leather. There's bound to be more, but you know, having two is always good. All the cloth, definitely. Don't want to run out of cloth uh, traveling. That's never a good thing. Uh, also, going to take all our antibiotics. Just in case parasites uh, decide to, to show up, you know? Uh, yeah, also going to take the birch bark as well. Okay, that's a good start. So we'll, we'll go ahead and put this away. Yeah, so this is going to be our cake box. What I'm going to do is put that in there, that in there, that in there. That way we can use 25. Painkillers will stay on me. It's one of those. Right in there. Very good. Nice. Let me, let's see. What's the lantern doing? Full? Not full at all. Okay. You know, we're going to have more than enough lantern fuel in Coastal Highway. I just know it. But we're going to take a little bit anyway, just because we're going to be using the lantern through the mine, so... Um, I would like to do that. Take that. It looks okay, honestly. Just our inventory so far, we're looking really good. Uh, I do have a feeling though that there's not going to be much that we're going to be taking to Coastal Highway, just because it's all. Eh, well, I can say that, but we're already overweight just standing here. So. And then the <laughs> the rifle too, huh? Jeez. Okay. Nah, so this is definitely going to be a, a task. I lied. Also going to take that. Doesn't do us any good sitting desolation point. Uh, any rabbit? No, there wasn't, I remember, because we were kind of scraping for pelts. So that's going to be a repair pelt for us, most definitely. Go ahead and just put our rifle in there. I'll put a good torch in there as well. Why not? Doesn't mean we have to necessarily take it all. But... Okay. And then, you know, this stuff we can drop as well. Drop that. Yeah, so ultimately 23 pounds of stuff we're going to be taking with us. This is what I would like to take. Honestly, I could probably leave the bandage. But I'll figure that out when we time comes. Not that it's a huge deal. But yeah, so we're going to... Even though, yeah, I mean, the wolf be a very nice thing to make, the wolf coat, but not really trying to wait seven days and then to grab a few more wolves. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess it's doable, but, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Whatever happens, happens. So, yeah, we're looking good right now, at least. Ish. Maybe a little bit. Uh, we'll put... Do a final sweep through and take that maybe later, but... Overall, nothing really... Um, I was really confident and I didn't have anything on me, but I guess I did. Overall, definitely some stuff that I want to take, I would say. And definitely some stuff I do not want to take. So I think it'll balance out. We'll be okay. This is definitely a big, a big thing. Interesting weather change again. Oh jeez, 15 calories, really? Might as well throw that one in the ocean. Uh, all right, okay, this is where it gets clear. Got it. Yeah, guys, I mean, this is really the part of the run where you kind of just sit around and do nothing, really. You just kind of wait for the time to pass. Uh, what did I want to put away? I saw something in my inventory that did not need to be there. Stone. 
Okay. Yeah, let's dump the firewood outside as well. And it's a nice clear day all of a sudden. Very nice. I'll go ahead and drop six. It's always good having two on you. Uh, I might even drop all that. I think I want to go up, just take a nice little walk. Just take a nice stroll. Well, what's the temp we're looking at? 26, huh? Not too bad, 26. I can, I can live with 26. Definitely live with that. Man, I am very excited for the future of this run. I think it's going to be very fun. And it's going to be very challenging as well. You know, going to Ash Canyon. You know, Ash Canyon is a very hostile region. You know, not as much as, say, Bleak Inlet, but, I mean, just kind of that isolation feeling. You know, you're, you're literally at the northernmost point of the map. One of the northernmost point regions, you know, on the map. Oh, feels different. Feels a lot more isolated. Which, I mean, in some regards, it is more isolated, you know, than, say, Timberwolf Mountain, where it has, you know, two access points to a region. Ash Canyon only has one. Um, one region, I should say. Timberwolf Mountain. Timberwolf Mountain's not an easy region either. So you gotta go through a moderate region to get to the hard region, you know? And I am aware, though, I think there's two access points. Um, deer clearing cave you can go into, and then you can go the usual way, the usual way that I go um, through Echo Ravine, so. I do love Ash Canyon, though. As hard as it, as it is sometimes, it's honestly one of my favorite regions. The landscape is so pretty. Get that, huh? Cute waterfall. Pretty screenshot. Now, I've actually gotten on top of there. Um, on top of that before. I almost fell off there. Yeah, you have to uh, do some some trickery, some parkour to get up there, but you can get up there. Might make a video on it sometime in the future. Uh, how to break maps. Because <laughs> it is fun. It is honestly very fun. Uh, oh, okay. I do remember making those kills um, last episode, I believe it was. I don't like this little flip right here. Could easily be a wolf. Uh, what do we have here? Got enough pelts, you know? I'm really tempted to get the pelt, honestly. Not really tempted to do that guy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to do the pelt here. They're kind of hurting for pelts, you know? I only have one in the, in the works right now, so... I think two is definitely not a bad thing. Uh, I don't have anything on me. Just knowing me, I would. Make sure. Uh, where are these things? So not really sure, maybe pause here a little bit, but not really sure what I could do, you know? Uh, maybe getting some more sticks probably up here would be a good idea. Probably be a worthwhile activity, actually. Yeah, let's do that. I even use uh, my my hatchet. I do want to run these tools down pretty good because I know when we get into Coastal Highway, we will find better tools, you know. So I don't really mind breaking these down to the point. Oh, nice! Actually, yeah. Let's this. Let's take this down. Wow, that was a quick weather change. Oh my! It's like New England weather, gee. Sunny one minute, and then a cold front the next, and then snow. 
Gee, I saw uh, in Vermont about oh, in college. I'm on October break right now, so I'm back back in southern New England. But I was up in Vermont for college and saw snowflakes the other day. Oh my gosh! As an avid hater of winter, I, you know, I almost cried. <laughs> yeah, it was um, it was an interesting experience. But it was there was flurries. It was just cold enough in the morning, but what can you do? Changing of seasons, but only wait till the big blizzards come in. Just like in the long dark. I hope where you live, um, there's better, <laughs> better weather than than here. New England weather is brutal. Not as much as some of uh. Some of you folks in Canada or something, something up north, you know. I'm sure negative 50 wind chills are part of your everyday, but, <laughs> you know, it gets below zero in New England a few times a year, and I just cannot do that. Oh, it, it pains me. Just can't. Not built for it. No, I live here. Not built for it. <laughs> so I do want to grab a piece of. Actually, can we? I'm going to grab a piece of venison. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll grab that. There we go. Uh, actually, let's hold off. Let's hold off. Just for now. I, I, I'm gonna go run this wood upstairs. Then I think by that point, I could start thinking about sleeping. Yeah, so another kind of um, thing I want to bring up is, do we bring the heavy hammer with us into Coastal Highway? Um, we're not going to be able to forge until we get to... I believe the next ammo forge in our path is in Blackrock. But after that, we're, not, we're still not going to be able to forge until... I believe... Forlorn. I believe it's the Muskeg. So, I mean... The odds of us finding a heavy hammer from now until the musk egg, you know, it's almost a guarantee. So I'm kind of thinking we don't bring the heavy hammer with us. Considering it is stalker, fine. Likely so many hammers. <laughs> so, not really too sure what to make of it, but I don't think we're going to bring it. Saw the hammer uh, playing in the Playing in that, uh, what's it called? A forge room down there. Kind of. Kind of brought it up, so. Yeah, cool. I like these. I think we saw, we found out that you could see those in the dark, I think is what we found, so. That's cool. It's always cool. We didn't miss anything. This game loves to surprise you with something that you thought was not there and was there. You know. All right. Yeah, let's drop that uh that rabbit pelt. There we are. Put that there. Put that one there as well. One percent. Okay. Good. So let's see here. Yeah, that. Oof. That bear hide is a long way out. Yeah. Long way out. Probably by day 40. I think it'll be done by the time we're getting ready to leave, so... That'd be... Just had to stop and think about that one. Okay. Fishing tackle. Wow, we have a lot, but it's for repairs, so it's not really a lot. That we're probably going to want to get rid of as well on the way out, because that is heavy. That is heavy. Actually, let's just get rid of it now. I don't want to be carrying it, and I know, I know I'm going to be carrying it out. So. Oh, there's still some left, of course. Alright, well, that's okay. Alright, I say we sit outside, I think. Sitting outside would be the best option here. I think so. Because ideally, we do want to go into Coastal Highway with minimal cabin fever, but we're going to be on the move 
um, for the first week or two in the um, coastal. We'll be on the move a ton, so I don't think it'll necessarily be a huge problem if we get cabin fevers. But yeah, what to do, right? You know, what to do? I think what we do is first of all drop the piece of meat because I don't need somebody surprising me. All right, now. I think we repair some stuff. That's going to use a repair. It's most definitely going to use a repair. I think it repairs 40%. Power and 12. I say we do it. Nice and warm out here. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Awesome. Okay, uh, let's just eat this. I love MREs. Um, calorie usage out of them but you know they're just so heavy especially when you find like 10,000 of them on the on the summit it's like you're tempted to bring all of them down with you and it's just 99 pounds of just stuff and uh, it's annoying so so in theory we could eat another piece but we'll uh, wait a little bit on that Alright, anything else need repairs? Anything, anything. That's coming down. That might need to repair soon. Actually, right now it could take a two hours, guys. Yeah, you know. Um, I think we'll do it, actually. But that's a long repair for something that might fail. You know? Let's just do it anyway. Oh, nice. Awesome. I can't believe we got that. That's awesome. Look at this, though, huh? Wow. This is a classic Desolation Point sunset right here. Very classy, very classy. Okay. I think we sit out here a little longer. See what we can do. That's going to have to go. Did I pick up that? Don't remember. Oh, no. I do remember. Never mind. I remember. So we'll, we'll there. We'll take that in with us. Get the stars and the loons. Very nice. We love to see it. Uh, we're gonna burn through that. That's that's really I would say what's making us heavy is the two and a half pounds of water. Two and a quarter pounds. That's definitely what's going to be weighing us down. So we'll be burning through that. Got eight sticks on me. Don't know if I want eight sticks on me. So I think I'm going to drop at least half. All right. Yeah, look at the arrows. It's just standing out very nicely. Yep. It's awesome. Uh, I think, honestly, we're gonna... Whoa, what is that? What? <laughs> what did I just see? Huh? Hold on a minute. I just saw the outside. What did I see? I don't know what I saw. Kind of scared. Kind of scared me. Oh, I saw out here, huh? Interesting view, I guess. That could go into breaking the game as well, I guess. I suppose. Alright. Yeah, we're going to want to put another arrow up there, I think. So while we have a little bit of energy... Oh, let's go do that. Let's mark out the top here. With spray paint. It is, it is most annoying when... You're coming through here at night and you just don't know what's going on. 10%. Yeah, we'll take that. I could have probably put an arrow there, but so I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna take this out. Yep. And then we'll that nice and nice and high. Should be able to see it at night. No, that's zero percent, eh? Really? 
So that's it. That's done. With. So yeah, I can't, can't use it anymore. Doesn't really give me a, a reason, but that's fine. Okay. In there. I don't think that dissipates, though, because it's not... You know, it's not the X on it, so I don't think that disappears. Okay. That's awesome. Let me mark that out. Uh, yeah, let's... In... I'm going to put in six right now. want to dip outside, too, and, and eat another piece of bear meat so we can get our parasite risk back. Sounds like a blizzard. Sounds like a violent blizzard. Gee. Let's take a peek outside. I want to get a temperature reading. Uh, I'm going to pick up another can of spray paint as well. I, I want to also mark up the upstairs a little bit more. That's just not what I clicked on, but it's fine. There we are. Okay. Yeah, let's get a... That is definitely a blizzard. Get a temperature reading. What are we looking at? Negative nine, really? Why do I doubt that? Eh, okay. Negative 38 wind chill, I can see that. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna take in one of these. It's also clothing damage as well, so I can't really be out for long, fortunately. That's okay though. Have I have fuel on me, right? If not, I'm gonna, no, no. Just take that back, you know? Look at that, huh? The arrows stick out so well. That's awesome. And then you can see the arrow up there. Awesome. The windows are just bright enough, though, where you could get around this area pretty well. But for the fun of it and just for spray paint, I want to just kind of do this. First aid. Now, I guess first aid... Nah. I was going to say, maybe I can mark the bed as first aid, because technically that's kind of like an aid. But I don't know if it's necessarily <laughs> a, you know. Yeah. Necessity. Oh, it is a necessity, so. Okay, I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to put it as aid. First aid. Definitely. Mark it up here. It's good to me. Nice. All right, uh, that should go under camper. Yeah, navigation, that, that makes sense, okay. Yep. So now if we wanna go outside, that, then if we want to do maybe a little something like, do another arrow, why not? Awesome. Now we can actually get around this place at night without having to be thrown off, you know, huge bit. I'm actually going to put another arrow, like, right there. Yeah, okay, that, that's good. So now if we do that, and if we go down here, that out. Like, oh no. Like, oh, no, just this way. And then you can see it. Oh. You're gonna have to work that door way out a little bit, but. Nice. Works, works good. I like that. Okay. Now it's time. Go to bed. I think we'll put in another six. Awesome. Took us right to morning. Some pillows we could break down, but not a big fan of breaking down stuff in the base, you know? Besides boxes and stuff, but pillows, you can't get pillows back. Well, you can't get boxes back either. 
All right. Awesome. Love to see it. Let's see what the great morning greets us with. Uh, fog. Hmm. You know, not too surprising at Desolation Point. You know, I also wonder if some of the regions are a little more fog prone than others. Because in the real world, um, coastal locations like Desolation Point or like Coastal Highway or Bleak Inlet would naturally be foggier because of the ocean, you know? So there would be truth to that, but I don't know if it's actually like an in-game feature. But it would be cool. Now, part of me is kind of tempted to stop getting parasites just because we're getting a little close to our departure date. Yeah, guys, so we're 12 days out. You know? 12 days out. Might be something to think about. Because I think, um, ooh, someone told me a few episodes ago, but I think in Stalker, if you get parasites, it's 10 days, question mark? I'm sure you guys will correct me, but I'm pretty sure it's 10 days. So, you know, we should probably stop eating bear meat by tomorrow, I would say. So tomorrow will be the last day. And we start strictly going off of our venison pile. Um, which I don't think will run out because we have a mountain over at the mine too. So uh, looking good. Looking good. That's a troll though. That, you know, that's a horrible piece. You hate to see that. All right, though. Everything looks good. Put that spray paint back down. And also sharpen our tools a little bit as well. Just some keep busy activities, you know. Just until we get into a better region. Uh, okay. Again, you know, it's such a waste of a whetstone. I have a feeling by 500 days we're going to be hurting for whetstones, you know? So, just not sure if that's really something I want to do. Waste a whetstone on that. Yeah, we're not going to do it. We're not. Um, I refuse. I refuse to sharpen such primitive weapons. Not gonna do it. Uh, okay. Emperor Hide's coming along. Oh, that's coming along too. Nice. Alright. Cool. So, let's take a peek in here again. See. Um. Yeah. All, all this looks, looks about right. About what I want to take. Could probably keep the rifle on me, honestly. And you know, switch these out when time comes. Yeah, what a fantastic match situation compared to the last interloper attempt. It's it's the world's difference, honestly. In between the two, um, Stalker and Interloper, you almost kind of wish there was something in between them, you know? Something that has, you know, Stalker loot. Maybe a little less than Stalker loot, but also has Interloper weather, or Interloper loot, but Stalker weather, or some variation of that. But, what can you do? That's why there's custom mode. But I don't think you can get a loot table right in between Interloper and Stalker, even on custom, but I don't know. I haven't tried it, so I can't really speak to it. Um, okay, yeah, we used all that. So get another one of those. I believe we also... No, we did not. Yeah, so this, this could be teared down, definitely. That could be time. I'm right there, you know. Might even just tear those down. Except for the ski gloves. Ski gloves are just... They're good. I don't want to tear things that are really good down. Because just in case one of our equipment breaks, we have 
a little backup. But, you know, something something like sports socks, you know, <laughs> really. Just not really worth keeping at all. Just extra weight. That could be used as cloth, so. This, though. Try it. We'll get cold, but I'm fine with it. Awesome. Very nice. Very nice. That's almost done. Halfway. Deer hide almost done. Yeah, there almost is an incentive to kind of bring in all of our cured stuff over to Hibernia. Not that we're, not that I see too much crafting in our future, but I just kind of see it as a focal point for our, you know, our hides and stuff that we gathered throughout Desolation Point. It's always good to have your stuff in one area. You know. The Riken would be nice, but there's no workbench here. Which is hard to believe, you know. A ship that has a forge does not have a simple workbench. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but... This would be such an OP place, though, if it was that way. It's like the maintenance shed, and, uh, uh, what is it? Broken Railroad, you know? It has literally everything you'd want, besides <laughs> the outdoors. Broken Railroad in itself is just a horrible region. Oh my, I'm not looking forward to that at all. You know? I'm thinking of maybe just living in the hunting lodge, and that's it. I'm not even going to touch the maintenance shed. Or at least not as a livable area, because that place is infested by wolves. So, we'll have to scope it out when we get there, but... Hmm. Okay, two cans. I really hope to find a pot um, in Coastal Highway. Most likely we're going to find one, but there's an obviously an off chance that you won't find one. Just tough. Same with the heavy hammer, you know? Yeah, guys. I mean, it's really just to stand around and and wait. This is really the, you know, I admit it too, the boring part of the run. You know? Not really sure. Uh, could, you know, do. Maybe we could do another uh, run for coal, maybe. That could be something good that we do. I actually wouldn't mind that. I think maybe we could do that right now. Oh, probably that. No. I think we'll need it. Alright. Uh, hacksaw, never know. Never know with the hacksaw. Okay, tell you what, we'll, we'll exchange this. That's a fair trade. I'm gonna drop stuff too. Definitely. Don't want to carry what we're going to be getting, which is a lot of coal. That's good for me. That's good uh, with me, definitely. Yep, let's go. Sure. All right. All right. Got to make sure no bear. You never really want to run into that. Not when you're this far into a run, anyway. Yeah, there goes. Day 30. So, you know, one month. Just about. Depending on what month you, uh... I don't know what you consider a month. 30 or 31 days. But we're just about a month in. Desolation point. I have not gotten sicker of this region. <laughs> uh, I'm just... I'm really ready to just get out of here. Honestly. I'm being completely honest. Uh, Coastal Highway, you know. Coastal Highway is not my favorite region. Definitely not my favorite, but it's a lot better than Desolation Point, in my opinion. I think I hear things. I don't know. Not sure what it is. Wow. Alright. The rescue crew is a little late, though. 
His buddy already kind of, uh... His buddy left the server, so... I don't know what he's doing here. He's walking away. Good. He's taking my advice. He must have spawned in. I mean, oh, look at this. He, he must have spawned in because he was not here yesterday. Good. There's bound to be bunnies up here anyway, so if something's chasing me, it'll get pretty distracted. Let's not mess around though. If we actually have to shoot something, we, we should. Because I'm not trying to. I'm not really trying to die. You gotta be honest, you know? Take the high guy. Hey, there's the bunnies. Alright. Love to see it. Love to see it. An interloper, this would be a blessing. In stock or not so much. Alright, let's just pick up what we can here. Always a good stick spawn up near Stone Church. Even an interloper. Always a very good spot to be. I thought that was a rabbit. I was about to say, no way a rabbit goes that far. Strays that far away. I've never seen one down, down there. A rock cache. That's also what we kind of need to do, you know? Gotta make a rock cache at the entrance um, of the region. I think that's, that's also what I want to do, definitely. And there's the respawn of rocks. That's awesome. Drop all eight of those. I'm pretty sure we have 50 by now, or at least very close to it. So that's good. All right, let's do this coal. This coal run here. Uh, yeah. Okay. There was a good stone respawn, definitely. I honestly wasn't sure they even respawned in the first place, but I guess they do, because we wiped this place clean and. Yeah, we wiped this clean of stones. Yeah, they're back. Which makes sense. I mean, they, they would fall from the ceiling, I feel, in real life. I don't really mind getting a little tired here. Whatever we miss on the run through, we'll probably get on the run back, so. Right. Yeah, not a huge, um, full spawn cave. Even on Stalker, it's not really a big, uh, not really a notable one, but it, it's one at least, you know? But, you know, you do. Better than nothing. Okay, yeah, so we missed this, I think. I just was not looking. All right, we'll head back to the entrance here, and then we will um, count up the rocks, because I really do want to see how many um, stones we have. We're good in here. All right, let's count up how many uh, stones we have. If we have 50, I'm tempted to go build our rock cache right now, but I don't know. I'm not looking for things to do, so I, I might. Uh, 43. Yeah, we have right there so okay i um, yeah we might just go build it right now just to check out what's over there i think we have checked out what's over there 
Um, but obviously now we have 50 rocks instead of nothing, so. Yeah. All right, let's go uh, take a peek. Oh, nice, there's deer. Deer around. Not sure I want to bring it down. Yeah, especially because there's wolves so close. Um, there's a good chance I'll probably lose the kill since I'll, I'll be doing it with bow and arrow. So probably a good chance I'll lose the kill, so I don't want to try doing that. Uh, let's see. Energy's looking good. We do want to be a little tired coming into nighttime. So, uh, so does this way just not exist anymore? Like, what's what's up with this? There we go. Ah, huh, how did I miss this? There's no way I missed this, really. That's a little concerning to me, actually. How the heck did I miss that? I don't get it. Maybe I got it and it's just a glitch. I don't know. Really no incentive to pick up rocks, really. I mean, unless, like, everything's kind of, like, respawning. Including rose hips. I, you've got to be serious. Like, I definitely got those. I don't know. Pleasant surprise, I'll take it as. Should be able to cut that down. That would be a lot of wood. Alright, but I have been over here though, right? I feel like I have been. I, I must have been. There's still the, the lichen on the trees. So. I don't know. I think I do remember coming through here. Just not completely positive. So, if the rose hips are gone over here, we'll, we'll know. No, I haven't been over here. What? Are you serious? Peace. I, I guess all my runs are just kind of blending into one now. So I could have sworn I've been in here. Oh, it's so close, but it's so far. So close, but not going to do it. Nope, we're going to build our rock cache, though. Right here. Yes. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, any stones left? No. Nice. So, there it is, guys, huh? There's our, our rock cache. That's awesome. I love that. Might honestly leave that for a thumbnail um, on our last episode here on Desolation Point. Probably be a good idea. Like a nice little farewell thumbnail. That'd be cool. Uh, what are we looking at for weight? Okay. So we can definitely get back. It is possible. Do want sticks. One problem with the Riken being a main base is after a while you do start to get low on fuel, you know, those sticks, and eventually your claim does go. Oh, it's always nice to really just take sticks whenever the heck you can. That can be said for any game mode, any region, any place, really. All right, so I think we'll make our way back to the Reich and just kind of organize ourselves and uh, call it there, I think. So another, it's another episode of just waiting around, but we're back, guys, you know. Uh, after some computer trouble, we're back. So I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty happy about that. I've been craving the long dark recently, so I'm glad I can back into it with a nice fun run. Um, I just don't know if I... Oh, those are not i'll have to look back on episodes and honestly you guys could probably tell me if i have been up this way i swear i have been i can almost bet a lot on it that i've been up here because i do remember seeing these i think maples just don't know just don't know this is cool it's a cool little like shot there Cool. Always love to see 
pretty landscapes. Okay, so we'll, we'll run it back to the mine here. That's a tiny piece. Just a tiny piece. Alright. Then we'll drop. Now, let's not be too stupid about this here. We'll drop all of it. Okay. Awesome. So now let's, uh... Get back to the Riken. Actually, honestly, mm, I don't know if I want to do that. I think I want to leave off in the, in the mine just to make it more interesting. It's just been so incredibly repetitive, but that's what this run is, you know. 42 days in each region is not meant to be a every day you're somewhere new kind of thing, you know. Uh, let's... Oh, I left. Of course I did. That's okay. I didn't plan to stay this long. It's fine. We're just trying to kill time is really what it is, right? Just trying to kill time. I'm cool with it. I'm cool. We'll do that one as well, I think. That looked very blizzardy for some reason, but Glad it did not follow through. That's always good. A plank. Interesting. Uh, firewood. Also gonna leave here. 44 sticks. Gee. I'm gonna drop all those. Get rid of some water too. That'll take us down in weight. Alright. And let's... Those. Awesome. All right, and then we'll, we'll step in a little bit for a save, and then call it here. All right. Awesome. All right, guys. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Um, I do appreciate it. A lot to look forward to in this run. Just got to get out of desolation point first. Uh, a few more episodes, though, and then we'll be there. So, yeah. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode.